In this second video of our OpenAI Agent SDK series, we are going to explore some additional features of this particular framework. So in this particular video, we are going to focus on how to use tools, how to get a structured output and how to customize model name. So let's get started directly with the code. So as we have seen in our last video, we know how to create our agents. So we are just going to import our agent and then we can go ahead and create our agent. To create our agent, now we have to pass name and instructions. So I'm just going to call it weather agent and I'm going to pass certain instructions which is going to act as a system prompt for it. So I'm just going to say you are an expert in providing weather information. Now we will try to run this particular agent. As we know, to run this particular agent, we have to import runner package. And after that, we just have to get the output. We have to use runner dot run sync and then we can pass our starting agent and I can just ask what is the weather in London. Now I can go ahead and print the response. To get the final output, we have to use this final output. We can just go ahead and run our code. And in this case, you can see I cannot provide real time weather updates, but you can check a reliable weather website or app like the BBC weather. Now I want my agents to provide me real time update and we can achieve this by integrating it with tools. So the first thing what we have to do is define our function, which can give us a real time weather update. So for that, I'm going to just use this weather API. This weather API is going to give us a real time weather information information. Just to invoke this, we have to pass our key and this is going to be our base URL for this particular weather API. And just to get the current weather information, we have to pass this particular method. I have already got a key from here and it's a free service which we can use it for our demo purpose. What I need to do is write a Python code to call this particular endpoint so that like it can give us a weather information. You could see in our environment file, we do have our weather API key and then we are retrieving this weather API key using this get environment variable. And after that, we have defined one particular function and in this particular function, the input is going to be location. And after that, our base URL is going to be this, which we have defined earlier and then our header information. And then the parameter is going to be our API key and location. Because as per the documentation, we have to pass these two request parameter. One is going to be your key and another is going to be this Q parameter. And under this, we can pass city name, US zip or any other parameter. In this case, we are going to pass the city name. So this is going to be our parameter. And after that, we are just hitting this particular URL by passing our header information and the parameter and the params. And then we are just retrieving the response from this particular weather API. And this actually give you a lot of information. As of now, we are just focusing on getting the temperature information which is going to be the Celsius format. So let me just go ahead and try to run this particular method just to see whether our function is working as expected. So here I'm calling this particular method and passing a city name as London. So I will just go ahead and run this code now. And you could see I'm able to get a temperature over here. So instead of London, I can pass any other city name. So I can just say New York and I should be getting New York temperature. And this is going to be this one. So now we know our method is working fine. And as far as our agent is concerned, now we have to convert this particular method into a tool so that like our agent can utilize it. So for that, we are going to again import our agent package. And from here, we are going to import function underscore tool. One more thing what we have to do is just above our method, we have to define this method as a function tool by using this particular decorator. Now this particular method has been converted into a tool, which is going to return the temperature in this particular format, which we could see over here. Again, we will go to our main file. And now what we have to do is define another property over here. So we will go to this agent class and under this, you could see we have explored how to pass name, how to pass instruction how to pass handoff description in our last video. Now we are going to use these tools and here you could see we can pass a list of tools over here. I'm just going to say tools. So first of all, I have to import that package because this particular method is going to be in tools.py. So first of all, I'm importing it over here. And after that, I can just go ahead and pass it directly into this. Now we do have name instructions and the additional property what we have defined is tools. Now if I go ahead and try to run this, then I should be getting a weather information and you could see now we are getting the current temperature in London is 8.3 degrees Celsius, which we were getting it earlier directly by function because here we are utilizing LLM. So it has given some additional text also at front and the output it has retrieved it from our function itself. 
and same thing we can confirm it in our traces as well we will again go to this dashboard and we'll click on traces and we will just click on at the top and here we are exactly going to see how this particular method has been invoked so if i click on first this event responses then you could see the function has been defined the default model is going to be this one and whatever instruction we have passed it's being reflected over here and our input has been converted into a function call and the location it has picked up london after that you could see if i just click on get current weather then you could see the output also what it has retrieved by making this function call and at the last you could also see the response format which is going to be in the text format and the final out is displayed over here and which is being reflected to us from the traces also you can get to know which particular function is getting invoked and what is happening under the hood now let's explore how to customize a model name while working with agent so as you can see under agent we do have one more property which is going to be model using default model we can also customize model name and in this case i'm just going to call gpt 4 o mini instead of using the default model so i can just go ahead and try to rerun this code and you could see we are again able to get the same output but now if you go to our traces once more and we click on the latest one then in this case if i click on the first post even responses then you could see our model name has been changed and now instead of default gpt 4 o model we are getting this gpt 4 o mini so you can customize the model name just by using this particular property one more thing what we want to explore in this case is how to get a structured output so as of now you could see the output whatever we are getting it's coming in the string format and there is no structure as such so when we triggered our function first we have got the output like this second time when we have triggered it we have got the output like this if you want to get a structured output then we have to define our pydenti class and to define our pydenti class first of all we have to import this package and after that i'm just going to define our class i'm just going to say whether just to make it pydenti i'm going to use base model and after that you can define like whatever you want in the output so i want location string and i want temperature and temperature is going to be in float again to pass this particular class to our agent we have to use another property and which is going to be this output type so i'm just going to use this output type over here and i'm just going to pass whether the class which we have defined at the top now if i go ahead and try to run this code then instead of getting this raw output i should be getting a structured output so you could see now i'm getting location as a key which is london and then the temperature is going to be this one same thing should be reflected in traces as well so if i go to my function so if i click on this in this event responses then you could see the response type has been changed and now it has been converted into json schema and this is the structured output schema which has been created automatically so if you are not defining your class then your output is going to be in the text format and if you have defined your pydenti class then the output is going to be in the structured output format and automatically the structured output schema is going to be defined under the hood so in this case you could see the title location is going to be string temperature is temperature which is going to be number the required parameter is location and temperature and the title is going to be weather which, which is the name of our class and the output is going to be generated in this format only which you could see over here so earlier it was coming at a text but now it's coming in the structured order. and same thing we could see over here as well so in this particular video we have seen how to define your tool how to change your model name and how to define a structured output for your agent that's all what we have in this video thank you for watching